Look at this face. This is the face of somebody knowing that they've sold out, that they've just taken a big check from Netflix to put out an unfunny, eye-rolling superhero parody. Now, this is Octavia Spencer. She's teamed up with, that's right, Melissa McCarthy, which, by the way, looks like she's come back to reality, let's say. Who isn't going to want to watch Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer in Thunder Force? I mean, you're talking about one half of this superhero team. We know that Melissa McCarthy is super powerful. She had the power to completely destroy the Ghostbusters franchise in a single movie. We know that Octavia Spencer, Hollywood's darling, it feels like she's in a movie every two months. By the way, saw her in Ma. Ma was okay. It was actually a pretty good movie. I think she's a pretty decent actress. Melissa McCarthy, I liked her in Mike and Molly, and literally nothing since. She's had a string of terrible movies, starting with Ghostbusters, and then she did that puppet thing that got like a 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Meet your new dynamic duo. Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer were seen modeling their superhero costumes on the Atlanta set of Netflix's upcoming Thunder Force. Should have called it Thunder Farce, am I right? Written by McCarthy's husband. Good Lord. McCarthy and Falcone are also producers. Mark Platt, who produced La La Land, is also attached to the film, which is scheduled to shoot through September. Details are scant on the project, but it concerns two women who suddenly develop superpowers. The power to kill a joke. I don't know what. I mean, Netflix, good lord. Is there a better way to describe Netflix than a peanut in the turd? I mean, there is a few shows on there. I find myself, to be honest with you, really enjoying Hulu a lot more. Hulu has some original shows that I like watching a lot. Letter Kenny. Oh, this season was extremely disappointing. Probably one of the worst ever. Probably because they got famous and they mailed it in, but that's neither here nor there. They've got the... Um, What's the Stephen, the Stephen King show? I, season two just came out. Castle Rock. They've got some good shows. Netflix. You've got about 50% of the episodes of Black Mirror. Um, that's kind of it. First season of Handmaid Tale. Maybe the second season of Handmaid Tale. They have like a few random shows that keep people coming back. But only enough to subscribe for a month and then unsubscribe. I mean, you can go see She-Ra. Isn't that? I mean, you could watch that. You could watch Big Mouth. Cartoons made for adults who haven't grown up. Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer near deal on Netflix Superhero Film. This is back from March. They're about to kick some serious box office butt. Not that we'll ever know. Deadline reports that the dream duo are nearing a deal with Netflix on a superhero com comedy, Thunder Force. From Tammy, scribe, McCarthy's husband, Ben Falcone. Tammy was also, all of her movies are just bad. I'm trying to think of one movie that she did that was kind of okay. I mean, I I'm trying to, I'm really trying to think of, you know, she did... There's one or two that I thought were okay. Where she plays the cop. That one's kind of funny. Um, that's kind of it. I didn't see this one. Can you ever forgive me? Maybe that was good. Ursula and Little Mermaid. Perfect. She's got the look. Um, Life of the Party. No. Gilmore Girls. No. Conan. These are just episodes. Ghostbusters. Absolutely not. Central Intelligence. Maybe the boss, spy, Tammy. I mean, not, I mean, what, what is even, well, I mean, 
Why does everyone like her so much? By the way, Mike and Molly was great. Maybe that's why. Heat. I thought the heat was okay. Sandra Bullock in there. I thought that was kind of funny. I guess I didn't see all of them either. Anyway. Both McCarthy, McCarthy and Spencer are coming off Oscar noms. McCarthy nabbed her first Best Actress nam nomination for her work. Merle Heller's black comedy, Can You Ever Forgive Me? Why do they call it black comedies? That's so weird. Do people call Tyler Perry movies black comedies? I'd never heard of that before. And Spencer took home the statue as a producer on The Green Book. When the period comedy won Best Picture, with such wins fresh in their minds of executives, it's a no-brainer to pair these two up beloved talents. The actor himself, Falcone, has written and directed three McCarthy vehicles, so she married the guy who writes terrible movies for her, Tammy, the boss, and Life of the Party. McCarthy's firm grip on audiences <laughs> helped usher the broad comedies to success, with the diminishing, with though with diminishing returns, Tammy grossed eighty-four million. The Boss made sixty-three million, and Life of the Party made fifty-three million. All three critically panned. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so your husband writes terrible movies. This is all. I'm actually starting to respect Melissa McCarthy a little bit more. She's standing by her man, who's single-handedly destroying her career. What do you mean firm grip on the audience? Every movie people see of you, they want to see less of you. And now you've been reduced to doing made-for-Netflix movies, which are often complete trash. Netflix has stand-up specials, I suppose. That's one thing they, they also have that's decent. Netflix offers an entirely different model from the studio system, which insiders have been watching nervously over the past few years. The streaming giant notoriously does not share its viewing numbers and offers big budgets with less creative oversight than a traditional studio. Spencer has also been outspoken about her fight for pay equality with white actresses. <sighs> Octavia, you sign the deal, lady. Demand more money then. You're a Hollywood millionaire. Good Lord. Brokering a, brokering a groundbreaking favored nations deal with Jessica Chastain on a still untitled holiday comedy, Spencer has had success with Netflix, though not without pushback. She recently revealed that an executive producer, LeBron James, had to step in and advocate for her salary negotiations with her forthcoming Netflix series, Madame C.J. Walker. Again. Just demand more pay or go work somewhere else. Spencer will appear in the Blumhouse-backed psychological horror Ma. I've already seen that. It was actually okay. Wouldn't pay 15 bucks to go to the movie theater to see it, but I thought it was okay. Which reunites her with the help director, Tate Taylor. Universal Pictures will release Ma nationwide May 31st. I don't know what to think about Melissa McCarthy. I used to like her. But after what she did to Ghostbusters, I'm not sure I could ever, ever support a film that she was in again. And, I mean, just look at these pictures. What are you going to do? I mean, she might be a nice enough person, IRL. But for people that are whining about fake problems like income inequality in Hollywood millionaires whining about getting more millions. I just don't have a lot of time for that. I just don't have a lot of time to give money to Netflix, given how they spend my money on propaganda. There's so little value in having Netflix. I think most people that you'll talk to, most people that have Netflix will tell you the same sort of thing. Ah, I haven't even turned it on in months. Ah, I haven't even, I don't know. I, I, I used to watch Stranger Things. That's it. People will pay for 11 months of Netflix and watch TV for one month. Let me serve this as a reminder to you. You can cancel Netflix anytime. So if you want to see a show like Stranger Things and you want to pay for it, just watch it 
and then cancel Netflix. This is exactly the same kind of model. Remember, if you're old enough, remember uh, in the jur in your journal, I don't know what you might call it locally. This is just in the United States. Maybe there's other in other countries too. You guys remember Columbia House? Pick 13 CDs for a penny. And then we'll auto ship you CDs for $30 each until you finally cancel it. By the way, CDs that you don't even pick. Just whatever. Whatever dribble we send you and charge you 30 bucks. That's what Netflix is. You sign up because it's cheap and because there's some one thing you want. They get you with a good deal like Stranger Things. And then you forget about it. And they that's how they profit. So remember to cancel your Netflix when you're not watching a show. Better yet... Cancel it in general. There's better TV out there and there's better entertainment here on YouTube and it's free. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.